Friends MD about to react to this vid by American Rita. It's titled What Zero Chemistry Looks Like. Oop. And we got KSI and uh Logan Paul in the thumbnail. They said they fake friends. They fake friends. Oh, and Mr. Beast too. Uh let's hear what they have to say. Let's watch. So the three supervillains of YouTube recently came yeah, together on Logan Paul's podcast to promote their knockoff version of Lunchables Lunchly. And hey, what do you know? It turns out that the three billionaires have absolutely zero okay. chemistry together. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let's go. Yeah, well, oh, that was awkward. Yeah, yeah. like throughout this podcast, it's clear that they A, know nothing about each other, and B, completely despise each other's success. Like in the beginning, when Mr. Ooh, B starts okay. describing one of the sets for his new TV series, Logan can't help but suggest that Jimmy's copying the set of the popular outdoor music festival, Burning Man. Ooh, um, mm. I know you, Jimmy. Just got done shooting your Amazon show, oh my God. which yeah. from what it sounds like is going to be the biggest game show in history ever. What would you say is the best episode? Um, I mean, say it. Don't say yeah, it. I mean, say what you did. We built a city in the middle of nowhere. There's just a, a field. What? And uh, That's just Burning Man. And we pulled up. No, we built like an actual <laughs> yeah, city. Yeah, but they do a Burning Man. Yeah, but like. You went to Burning Man. Well, as in like. No. Buildings, buildings like actually a walled in city that the contestants lived in throughout the show. What Logan then seemingly insults Mr. Beast when he asks him it's if bad. he's on drugs. It would literally okay. break the internet. Are you not Adderall or something? No, I just want to see it so badly. I really do. Right, right now, I like you, Jimmy. I like right. your spunky guy. All right, I, I'll take the hint. We'll change the topic. So, how's your song with trivia? which then awkwardly segues into a conversation about KSI's disaster of a oh, song, okay. Thick of It, where Logan suggests that KSI should begin writing his lyrics with ChatGPT. Thick of It. <laughs> oh, Featuring no. Trippy Red. Yeah. Obviously, I'm promoting that music. Yeah, man, if I were you, I'd write a song and, and have the ChatGPT write all the lyrics. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm joking, but like... Yeah. It, 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 well, it, I mean, I, I, I do... Love it's like a shot at these niggas. You don't like them. I have like AI friends, and I just talk to them every now and then. But after they finish their forced intros of each other, they begin to address the reason why they're sitting there oh, pretending to be friends in the first place, and that is to promote their new product. <laughs> yeah. That's the customer. They want all y'all kids to look like him, and no shade. I'm not trying to shade anybody's children, but that's very interesting that they picked this little boy out of all the little kids. They picked him. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we did launch Lunchly today. We actually just did it. Um, if you guys saw on Instagram Live, I also think people are confused about what the price. I saw it got mold. Wait, so it's just prime. Are you going to address that? You know, Lunchables. No, I want to hear your uh, Lunchly pitch. My Lunchly pitch. Yeah, you guys start sneaking that in. That's uh, true. just eat it. It's it's fantastic. I like that. But instead of celebrating their launch like Fantastic normal friends who launch a business together would, the no, demons yeah. inside of them couldn't help but to address the negative criticism and lawsuits that they're facing. Well, maybe no, but Jimmy, I really want to talk about these lawsuits because they're a big deal on the front. Okay, so you're telling me you don't purposely just put, what is it, forever chemicals in your drink to... Bro, we we were shocked. Yeah. Me and him were talking, we're like, yo, what do you You don't just bust in? open barrels of forever chemicals what? and dump that in like, there? Like, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this is? Like some fucking uh -huh, thing operation where, where uh -huh. that it's like what like what we're trying to like I can't I don't even want to say it's so stupid, dude. No. People are so really? dumb. I, I as 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 much as I believe in people and like the up and coming generations Why are you and, looking and, around and like the world that? that I hope we're headed in the right spot, I just am it never ceases to amaze me how dumb people are. Well, like you'd think that Logan would know how to conduct himself professionally at this point. Especially when discussing lawsuits surrounding his company. Like They're the levels of immaturity in this podcast is baffling. Uh, Turkish Pondo Riz. A whole state. Blue, blue Tie Ohio Riz. Yo, that's like... Do you know Blue Tie Ohio Riz? Like, what do you say? Especially when the conversation shifts focus to a discussion about... He, speaking of, that's just about Turkey. Or about Turkey. He needs to go to Turkey. It's about time, brother. You make all this money, got all these businesses. Just go. Just go. I feel like they could put some hair here. Uh, can they put hair on your forehead? <laughs> if hair don't even already grow there, maybe they can do that. I'm not sure how this works. Or can they only fill in like the, the thin, sparse areas? I'm not sure how it works exactly. They might not be able to move the hairline down. They might only be able to fill in where the actual hair follicles are. 
Never mind, you might be fucked, brother. Alding, which is something that Logan and KSI both struggle with. The only difference is that KSI covers his with a bandana, mm -hmm. while Logan chose to get a hair transplant and have his bangs on his forehead. So when Mr. Beast suggests that they should all go to Turkey Logan. to get a hair transplant, yes! things get a little dicey between yes. KSI and Logan Paul. Yeah, like, like, like I grew a beard. Yeah. But the bandana hasn't changed. That, it, it's got bigger. <laughs> okay. It's got bigger, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. The hairline's... Mr. It. Beast is shady as fuck, though, to even mention that. I'm going to mention it, of course. <laughs> I don't know people. You know, I make my little shady comments. But for him to say that is crazy. I've, I've but, exactly good idea. But, but you just, you, let's go to Turkey. I no, I don't want to go to Turkey. Like, I want my beard on my, no. like, out of my face. Yeah, bro, you can have a pork cares, right here. You, have a you, forehead. you, that's why you keep uh, covering it up. You can't say who cares when you cover your forehead every single day of your life. You might sleep in that shit shower in it. So don't act like, oh, I don't care, I don't care. Because if you really didn't care... You wouldn't even cover it at all. But maybe he means he doesn't care enough to go to Turkey. Maybe he cares a little. <laughs> so say that then. Say I care a little bit, but not that much. Oh, I don't care how I look because my girlfriend loves me for me. It oh. is so sick. So who cares what some people online think about us? That is I mean, true. About, you know, my you forehead or... My, my only pushback would be... Well, I think some people think... I'm cooler than I actually am. Who? And part of that Children? coolness is not looking like a bald ass bitch. What? <laughs> Whoa. No, Pull your bangs back. Let me no, see. No, like no, my no, father. No. Okay. Like my bald ass dad. So it's clear now that these three don't really like each other in any sense and are only pretending to be friends for financial gain. Obvious. Like KSI and Logan are actually convinced that Mr. Beast is a nerd, which offends Mr. Beast when they bring it up. This sells 10 units a day, whereas this one sells Why two and then I just like to... You know, try to figure out why. Number nerd. Oh, wow. Did you ever get bullied, Jimmy? Not really. That no, shocks that's, me. That's such really? a lie. It's crazy. Really. It shocks you. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you want to elaborate? <laughs> I just feel like... Not oh. all of us played... What, were you high school football, wrestling? Yeah, but I was little, Jimmy. I got bullied. I got bullied. Well, really? sure. Yeah, you were, you were a nerd. Uh, yeah, I, I, I played basketball and stuff, but... No, I mean, honestly, people just left me alone. I didn't really have... Too many friends. Well, that's, no, almost, that's almost worse. I mean, I guess it. I guess it depends what you constitute bullying. If you constitute people going, why do you only talk about YouTube, you weirdo? But I don't constitute that as bullying. I just constitute it as I was just a weirdo and I deserved it because that's all I talked about when I was a little kid. But Mr. Beast doesn't let that slide and counters Logan by subtly hinting that he'll be an absent father to his newborn child. Oh my God! And Mr. Beast is this a himself has a vasectomy because he's scared of birthing a child and not being there for it because he's so busy. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Oh, so, so if you ever have a kid, are you going to be like the absent dad? Um, I'm not going to have kids when I'm ready. So no, I mean, that's why I'm not, I'd probably a decade down the road. Um, Wait, a decade? Period. I'm, I'm pushing that stuff. Like, bro, I, I, if, I, if I had a kid now, yeah, I'd be super upset. I don't know how you're going to balance my WWE, everything you got now, lunchly. Um, I know you will, and I, I, I obviously talk about behind the scenes. Logan's very serious about wanting to be a good father. But that's like, I mean, that would just destroy my life if I had a kid. Right well, now. I mean, do you wrap up? <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, I, I will not have a kid anytime soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> he might be gay. Maybe that's what that was. I don't know. I, that just an observation. That was kind of a weird. I don't know. He could have just been like, yeah, or even if he don't, maybe he means he's smashing somebody raw. But I don't. I don't feel like that makes a lot of sense. Be, if he's very adamant about not having children, it doesn't make sense that you would just be smashing somebody raw. If you're that serious about it, and you know you got all this money, and you like this will ruin my life. If you really feel that way, there's there's no way you would just be smashing bitches raw. So, for him to be like. And then the way he responded, <laughs> and to be like, oh, just, I ain't I, I have a kid. Like, trust me, it's not possible. That's what it gave. But I don't know. This is just speculation. <laughs> I don't know this man. I ain't putting that on him. I'm just saying that's what it looked like. He got a uh, vasectomy. Oh, I Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> I could never. Ew. Which then carries into a discussion about babies that's really revealing that these three are actually children trapped in the bodies of grown men. I guess if she has a baby inside of her stomach, that's Jimmy, not crazy. It's the weirdest. Oh, world his girlfriend is pregnant. In pregnant. The world. Have you seen like? I thought they were speaking hypothetically, like, oh, if you ever became a a, a father, you you would be committed to being a good father. No, his his woman is pregnant. I thought like they showed an actual picture too. <laughs> I feel like I just tuned it out because I just felt like, you know, that was like hypothetical. Like, they're like, oh, what if he had a baby? 
But no, he he's he got a baby on the way. That's why I'm surprised because I feel like I would have heard that somewhere. Somebody would have asked me to react to a video about it or something. But I guess nobody cares. Yeah. Whoa. Dude, her stomach. You'll see. You'll see her stomach. You'll see the baby's like. Because I feel like I if Cass, I got somebody pregnant, that would be news. Like people would talk about it. I would hear about it somewhere. Like a body part going cares. like all the way. Ah. Like a little. It does look like oh my God. God. Has he, How does that make her? Has she given you the finger? No, not no, yet. No, but it, Jimmy seems grossed like, out, but you can you can feel her like fingers and toes and stuff. No way, dude! I'm telling you, it's crazy. Uh, oh yes. my god! Yes, oh. it's okay, crazy. Yeah, oh. <laughs> That's a very weird reaction. That's strange. It's not like he's describing seeing the birth and he's describing you know disgusting details. Like he's literally just talking about how the baby is moving inside. The, the the mom's stomach and he's like vagina babies <laughs> like oh that's weird whatever uh, you, you won't understand Maybe can't get until, out until, until you, you experience it and like seeing the woman you love have a little alien inside her it must be just you, you, wild it's wild are you gonna look oh my god yeah I think I'm gonna look no way yeah. like no nah, you're as in yeah. crazy coming out yeah oh. nah no chance Jimmy Doctor well that's it for the video guys and if you I've never seen anybody react like that to that that was odd. That was an odd reaction. Wow, they was throwing shots at each other heavy. I was not expecting this. Like, damn. <laughs> it's very clear that y'all don't fuck with each other at all. Like they could not hide it. So, hmm. This is uh less than zero chemistry. This is in the negatives, if you ask me. But I'm sure anything for the bad, they gotta work together to, to get this money and scam these kids, apparently, and sell this mold. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.